Today's video, we're going to be showing you how to use Strategy Analyzer on Ninja Trader. In this video, we're going to be using our 5-Minute Scalper. If you're interested in this scalper, you can find it on HolyGrailAlgo.com. Welcome to Holy Grail Algo, simplified trading. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Holy Grail Algo is not liable for any loss or damages which may result directly or indirectly from such content. Hello everyone, I'm Steve from Holy Grail Algo. In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly do backtesting. And this is an important step, and we're seeing that some people don't have a couple steps in place that uh, give them good results on this. So to get accurate results, you have to have some things set up right. The first thing is going to be your data. So you must see what kind of data you have. Now, obviously, you can download free data from uh, right outside of your Ninja Trader. But let me show you, let's take a look at this. So if you go to Tools and you go to Historical Data, and let me uh, bring this up here, bring this down, you see it here, this is my VPS that I run on. Now when you go into, you have two different types of data. You have Historical Data, this is for Strategy Analyzer. Then you have Market Replay Data, this is for Market Replay. Now. I'm going to do historical first, so let's start out with strategy analyzer. This will be the fastest way to do a test. So when you go into historical data, you can see that I've got quite a few of them in here. I've got the YM, the RTY, the NQ, the ES. Now some of these you'll see the contract dates on here. Other ones I've got this uh, these pound signs. Now what this is, is this is data that I purchase from Kinetic. It's called continuous data. This is how I'm able to run a test for an entire year or two years is I can use the entire continuous data or however much I've got downloaded and I don't have to worry about contract dates. Now this is a subscription that you have to pay for monthly to have that. If you don't have that and you're just going to use the data that you can download free from NinjaTrader, you must stay inside the contract dates. So if you're going to download like say uh, uh, the, let's take a look at the NQ1223. That's the current contract that we got. So you go to, you click on this, you go to last, you go to tick, and you can see that I've got some dates in here. I'm up till October the 6th. So for me to download more, the first thing I must do is connect to my data, and I'll connect to my kinetic, and you click download. And I'm going to connect to the uh, NQ1223. And I'm going to start at the date that this leaves off. So I'm going to start on the 7th, which is a Saturday and a Sunday, which I don't need. But we're just going to get the 9th because that's the only day that I don't have. Now, you must click these. You want all the data, especially the tick. You've got to have that. This test is not going to run right because your test results are only as good as your data. So you click download. And depending on your internet speed, will determine how long that it takes. And you, you have to do this outside of market hours. You you can't download during market hours. So I think it's like five o'clock Eastern time before you can download. If you do download it during market days or market hours, I think they only give you like nine days. So you could have a gap in your data. So the other thing you want to do is go in here to your data and let's take a look. You want to make sure that you got all your days in there. So because you know I've got it back to June right here. But you want to look at all your dates because if you've got, you know, big gaps, now you can't count the weekends, but if you have large gaps of, of trading days outside of here, you know, your, your test results are probably not going to be correct. So you want to look at all your dates and look at the calendar and make sure that you have them in here. So you can see that I go from 8-1 to 8-9 on this PC. So guess what? I've got a gap in here and this data is not going to be, my test results are not going to be correct because I don't have this. And you can click on here and you can see the times. So you can see, you know, that I've got every hour in there. One thing to note here that's very important is the time zone that you're in when you download this data. If you are testing inside Eastern time zone and your computer is set to Eastern and everything is Eastern, you don't have to worry about it. But if you're in outside Eastern time zone, say you're in Pacific time zone and you're downloading that data while you're in Pacific time, but then later, if you test it and you're in Eastern time or whatever other time zone you're in, your data is going to be off because it, it was downloaded while it was in Pacific time. So make sure that 
you know you you download the data in whatever time zone that you've got your clock set to is downloaded at the right time zone that you're going to be testing this in to that so now that we have that downloaded you bring up strategy analyzer and again it's going to make me go up here and bring it down okay okay I'm going to try and center this so it's all in here okay so you want to make sure that you select the proper strategy in here like this and you click on template and you go to load and you're going to load the proper one that you want to test like the NQ five minute is our uh, NQ scalper strategy that's the name of it and the next thing you must do is select the uh, the contract now since I'm going to test the 1223 contract I must stay with inside the dates of this contract so in other words I could not test from September the 1st until October the 1st because the contract did not start until the 9th of September so let's just test uh, let's test up to what we have so we've got up to the 6th in here and I can test uh, see the contract started right in here but I'm going to test a lot of the volume didn't fall in until about the 12th or the 13th but let's just test the 13th in here and um, so we got the 1223 and we're testing from 913 to 10 this falls inside of this contract you must make sure that the date you're testing fall inside the dates of the contract the second thing you must make sure that your template has is that the historical price let me open this up a little bit historical price historical fill processing is selected to high it's on ticks value is one limit order on touch and you put one for the slippage that's the only thing that you should have to do everything else you want to leave as a default as we have in the template now if we have a different template then that's different but the way at the time of this we already have we've got the PL in here got you know the market order the way that it's supposed to be done so everything's done so the only thing I'm changing is the um, and this this machine by the way is on Eastern Standard Time and that's the, the day or the hours of the template so I'm, I'm testing at 1223 I'm testing inside these dates and we should be able to go now you can right click on the screen you can bring up ninja script output and it'll give you this window and you'll start seeing results populate in here once there they go they're, they're calculating okay so you can see this test is already run I ran basically about two and a half weeks or so but it made twenty six hundred dollars there's our drawdown fifteen ninety six it's seventy percent and so you can see some of the other numbers in here saying that it's gonna at this rate that it would make about forty five hundred dollars per month so this is the proper way to do a strategy analyzer and uh, you'll be able to do that now to go back further in time you have to have that data so make sure again I can't stress this enough that make sure you, your dates right here fall in line with this and that you have all your tick data when you download so that is part one of the uh, strategy analyzer for backtesting and then and then next I'm going to go through how to do market replay okay so I've cleared out my chart so to do market replay is a little bit different so the first thing you want to do is I'm going to disconnect from my kinetic and then I'm going to connect up to my playback now with playback it'll bring up this window where you can see what your data is so let's take a look and see what data that we have so I've got the NQ 1223 you can see that I've it started about the 11th or 12th right in this range and it goes up till the end of the sixth which is about the same data that I had on the other one but you must make sure that you have all these dates in here now there's a couple places you can get these from if you don't have dates you can just select the 1223 and you must download these one day at a time and uh, okay so it's going to give you a little window like this right here and this is going to be 
what I call my calendar window here, but it's going to show you the dates. So the dates that you have in here must match the dates that you're going to test the contract on. So let's bring up a, a chart and we'll bring up the NQ on the current contract, which is the December 23 contract, which is 1223. And we're going to do five minutes and we'll check tick replay on here. You don't want that for live trading, but you can have for uh, market replay. And all of these uh, settings in here stay the same. You don't need to change any of this. And we'll bring up our window. And if you've got data already downloaded, you should see candles populate pretty quick. If you have funny looking candles, like they, they don't look right, then you're probably either on the wrong date or you don't have uh, proper data downloaded. So we'll bring up our chart trader and we're going to load a strategy, level strategy. This is going to be our NQ scalper. Load, five minutes. Okay, inside here, really you don't change hardly anything. It's pretty much going to be default. All your settings are going to be there. You will notice that where it says calculate, this is going to say on bar close. If this does not say bar close, it, it's wrong. So you can change it, but you do not want to. You want to keep that on bar close. Um, this is going to look like what it did in Strategy Analyzer, where it says tick, volume one, limit orders on touch, and uh, slippage is one. Okay, now when we go to our strategies tab, we're going to enable that and you'll see all of this come up. You'll see your le levels and stuff, depending on the speed of your computer, how fast it works. Okay, so we got everything set, charts built, and the dates, uh, this, the 19th um, through, we'll test, uh, start testing here. This is inside the, the dates of the, uh, of the current contract. So now... Obviously, you want to speed this up because this is going to go 1x, which is going to be horribly slow. It's real time. So we're going to speed this up. I don't like going over 1,000. 500 to 1,000 is typically where I run it, but typically around a, a 500 to get, because I want it accurate, right? So it takes a little longer, but I'm just going to run it to max right now just to speed it up to get to the point where it's going to start trading for about uh, 7.30 in the morning. And it's going to go pretty quick here and I'm going to start slowing it down and there we go we're in our first trade right now and uh, just so you can if you want to slow it down where you can watch it you can because it's going to go pretty fast and furious in here and there we just want our first trade right there of the day and I'll speed it up a little bit more there's 30x right there maybe 50 but this is uh but if you want to slow it down, you can actually watch the, the trade form and take place. So it's kind of cool the way you can do this. But you can actually go back and play market replay. You just have to make sure you have your dates and you have the settings in your template and you're testing inside the, the proper contract. I'll run this up to 1,000. You'll see it's take some trades. And there we go. We're, this is now 1045 in the morning and she's still, she's still going on. And you can see on this particular day, we've hit our profit goal for the, for the day and it shut itself down because we have a profit limit uh, set into the template but anyway I hope uh, hope this might answer some questions um, for some folks that uh, were struggling trying to learn how to set up their their data and all of that for their uh, for their back testing so if you have any questions let us know thanks for watching and we'll catch you folks in the next video thank you for watching Holy Grail Algo make sure to like subscribe and drop us some comments